Wow, okay. Simping for Tom. This makes me uncomfortable. Uh, Tom, be real with me. What can I expect from my Falcons this year under Arthur Smith? Uh, in terms of the offensive style, because this is, I think, what's going to happen here, I am expecting lots of two tight end sets. I think both Hayden Hurst and Kyle Pitts play a lot this year. Beyond that, I don't know what to make of this Falcons team because keeping Matt Ryan not going quarterback was a win-now move. Captain Kyle Pitts, win-now move. Trading Julio Jones, not a win-now move. So I think this might be a little bit of a reset year. Um, I think 500 is a pretty, or not, around 500, 17 games, duh, is about a decent benchmark to try and clear if you're the Falcons. And you could go 8-1, it's fair there. But make your predictions for me in the comments section, folks. How many wins will the Atlanta Falcons end up with this season? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Get your votes in right now. From the Carolina guy, NFC South rankings and picks. Good question. Um, I know you don't like the Bucks, and this might not you're not you're not gonna like my answer, but I think the Bucks are the pretty heavy favorite right now. They're, they bring back really the entire team from last season. Now the Saints won the division last year. I'm not sold on them. I think it's a pretty clear tier break at the top. It's the Bucks, and I'd argue then kind of everybody else. I'm not sold on Sam Darnold, so I, I, I'll put Carolina probably third. I'm worried about Atlanta. I'm going to put them fourth, and I guess the Saints second. But two, three, four, totally up in the air for me. Marsha, what's up? Uh, I'm in a dynasty league, and I have the third pick in the draft. Was wondering if I should take Kyle Pitts with that pick. So I actually love fantasy football. It's basically the way that I got started here at Chat Sports. So if you guys have any fantasy questions whatsoever, please don't be afraid to hit me up at MitchellRand365. In terms of a dynasty draft, if you need a tight end, I don't think it's a bad idea. The last time I did my dynasty rankings, I had Pitts at number five, not at number three, but he's a phenomenal player. But if you need to win right now, usually it takes a year or two for a tight end to really get things going. But I do think that he is going to end up being a top five tight end in the NFL. We got Burning Spades. Shout out, y'all. Just asking, why have Twitter when we have chat sports? Also, who could Atlanta look to add to help with secondary and O-line thoughts? You get Twitter to, to talk to us a little bit more. Like, I can't talk to all y'all all the time on the show. That's why I tell people to DM me because then we can talk about other things going on, right? In terms of who could Atlanta look at to add help from their secondary and their O-line thoughts? I mean, if they want to pay a lot of money, Stephon Gilmore could be out there. I actually said this earlier, Damon Arnett could be a player who was drafted in round one where it seems like the Raiders have already moved on from him. So if you want a cheaper player in the secondary, give, uh, give the Raiders a fourth, fifth round pick. I think he's yours. And then on the offensive line, it really comes down to which positions you need. I still kind of find it hard to believe that Rick Wagner is still out there, even Trey Turner as a guard. But if you need a tackle, I'd probably go Wagner. If you need a guard, Trey Turner. From Matt the Gamer, which teams do you think will be better this year? I mean, I think in general, you're looking at the teams that were terrible last year that have almost nowhere to go but up, right? The Jets, they should be a better football team this season. The Jags should be a better football team this year. I'd be very surprised if a team like, you know, the, the Cowboys, great example there for Jeremy, they should be better this year. A team like maybe not Philadelphia, but I think the Bengals, if Joe Burrow's healthy the entire year, could be a lot better this year. I think the Niners, a healthy team, will be way better this season. So some of those bottom teams, they got plenty of room to go up. From Anisha Nod, what is your reaction to Brady and Mahomes on the Madden cover? I don't care about the cover. They could put Peyton Hillis back on it again, and I would not care about it. What I care about is making the franchise mode actually good. It has gone in the wrong direction for a decade now. If the franchise mode is finally good again, which I'll believe it when I see it, then I'll be pretty excited. Now, maybe your answer to this question is Brady or Mahomes. But you guys can be a hater right now in the comments section. And let me know who you think the most overrated NFL quarterback is. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So to get the ad break here on YouTube, scroll on down and let me know. From Yerji, uh, what teams are sleepers for the Super Bowl? Do the Rams count as a Super Bowl sleeper or are, are they too obvious? Because obviously they, they brought in Matt Stafford. Um, I mean, I think the Chiefs are your heavy, heavy favorites out there in the West. So any, or in the, in the, in the, 
in the other conference there in the West. So I I lean towards the Chiefs, not the Chiefs. You know, I don't buy the Colts or Titans quite yet, but maybe Tennessee would qualify as a sleeper there. If you want to go deep, deep sleeper, do the pay, do, do the Bills count yet? Or are they too good? The too good? Okay, so not the Bills. So I'll go Chargers there for uh, out, out uh, in, in, in the West, uh, AFC West to be exact, or in the AFC. As for the NFC team, oh, I'll go with the – not, it's not Washington. It's not the Cowboys. I'll, I'll go. Can, can I go with the with the 49ers? I'll go with the 49ers. If they're healthy, they're a good football team. So I'll go, I'll go Niners, Chargers, two West Coast teams in the end. From Liam Gaming 622, Tom Downey misspelled my name, but we still brought it up. It's all good. There's an E there. It's, it's not like the fabric softener, you know? It's not like that. What player is at the top of of the trading block. I mean, I, 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 I think your main names there are Aaron Rodgers, maybe Stephon Gilmore, maybe Xavier Howard. The one guy who I know is available is Zach Ertz. Does he get dealt? I don't know. From Thomas Angel. First off, great first name. Uh, what playoff team last year will fall out this season? I am worried about Pittsburgh in the AFC. If Big Ben is second half of last season, Big Ben... Things are going to get dicey there. Um, I don't trust Carson Wentz for the Colts. In the AFC, if Aaron Rodgers is, is, is not in Green Bay, they're not going to make it. But the team that jumps out the most to me, the Saints. If it's Taysom Hill, I don't think so. They'll be a, above or around for 500, 500 football team. I'm not sold on New Orleans this year. What receivers do you think could be traded this offseason? I think in general... We're kind of at the end of, of the notable players who are going to get dealt outside of a couple, you know, more roster cut down type of moves. The big names, Odell Beckham. I don't think he's going to get moved at any time in the near future. I don't think Michael Gallup gets moved uh, by the Cowboys. If teams start to struggle, the Jets redid Jamison Crowder's deal, so I guess that takes him off the list. There will be some deadline or some trade deadline deals for a receiver. If we're not as bad as the Mohamed Sanu trade for the Patriots. But if things get disastrous in Green Bay, just keep an eye out for Devontae Adams, maybe. And I guess Allen Robinson if things go bad for the Bears, too. We got the Fat Rat. What up, brother? Hello, Mitch. How are you? Good, dude. Which quarterback do you believe is a sleeper MVP candidate? Well, if you want to go super, super deep sleeper, I'll throw out the name Tua Tunga by Lowe. I believe his MVP odds are 6,600. He's got a ton of talent around him. He's entering his second year. If you want to go a next caliber level down in terms of a sleeper MVP candidate, I mean, I, a lot of people might hate on me for saying this, but I'll say Derek Carr because if he can finish first in the AFC West, that puts him in a very good position. And for the first time in a long time, he actually has a defense, but the, the pick that I've been going with is Kyler Murray, a quarterback that has shown some ups and some downs, a lot of talent around him. But in terms of a sleeper MVP, uh, I guess I'm going to go with Kyler Murray. M. Miller 916, who is your Super Bowl favorite, Mitch? I mean, I guess I got to say the Kansas City Chiefs, but it absolutely pains me to say that, and it's about as chalky as it gets. In terms of what team do I – think is maybe not a chalky pick, but I would like to see in the Super Bowl. I'd like to see the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. I like what those guys are doing. Let's go to Jeremiah Robinson. Who will win Rookie of the Year? I mean, in terms of offensive, the chalky answer is Trevor Lawrence. On the defensive side of the football, I'll throw out a name like Jalen Phillips because he actually has an opportunity to get a lot of sacks. You could also look at Merrick from the Raiders. He's going to have a big-time opportunity to get on the field a bunch. Usually, there's a top defensive guy taken. You didn't really have that too much this year. So, I'll say Jalen Phillips or Merrick. Gary Sanderson, your worst NFL draft takes ever. I mean, first off, where do we even begin? Um, I had a take. Uh, Josh Allen was going to be a top five quarterback out of the NFL within three or four years. I'll be right on that front. I thought it was going to be out of the NFL, though. So Josh Allen, big L on my part. Um, guys that I liked who are not good, uh, Hakeem Butler, just a massive L for me. Like, he has never been anything good in the NFL. I loved Tease Tabor coming out. Huge mistake on my front. That was just a disastrous goal there. Uh, other players I'm looking at my boards from years past I was super high on. Uh, I feel like Maurice Hurst, I'm blaming on the medical condition, but he hasn't been that great. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, I was I, I had Lamar Jackson graded the exact same as Sam Darnold. So I'm claiming victory on Lamar Jackson on that front there. I like Taven Bryan a lot. He has not been particularly good. I also loved um, Montrevis Adams, the Packers defensive lineman. He was never good. A huge L on my part. I was pretty high on uh, on Billy Price, top 45 player. So, so oh, I, 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 I like Jimmy Clausen too. Oops. I, I had Malik Jefferson and Billy Price in my top 50. Two just disastrous ones right there. there there's a very long list of, well, that was a bad, bad grade on my part.